in this lecture i'll be discussing about one more important concept about the oracle database we called it as a decommission of oracle database so first of all we'll try to understand about what is this decommission as the name suggests we are basically trying to remove our oracle database and there will be a decommission of server also let's assume that we have one database is there but now there is no required of this database no one is using this database so obviously we will try to decommission that because database is not free of cost it comes with the licensing and other things so what are the steps which will be involved under this decommission of oracle database that is what we are going to discuss in our today's lecture the first step of the decommission of oracle database will be first of all you need to inform to your customer or the client or the business owner saying that this particular database we are going to decommission so you need to take the appropriate approval from the business owner and then and only then we should go for the decommission of the oracle databases you need to decide the date and time like on this particular day on this particular time we are going to decommission of the oracle database so right approval is very very important whenever you are thinking about decommission of the oracle databases next step will be you need to take the backup of your oracle database so make sure that you have a full database backup is available you can also raise the ticket with the storage team or unix team to take the backup from their side also every backup will have some retention period like if i'm taking a backup today the backup should be available for next two years so that part also you need to take care now this two year or one year is completely depending upon project to project so you need to ensure what is the policies your project is taking and accordingly you can set up the retention period you can also take the location of your esp file control files data files or archive logs all this list of location you can just take it into the notepad and just make sure that you have all the details along with you shut down the oracle database and shut down the oracle listener also and after that you can start taking the backup of your oracle database it should be full database backup so that it will cover up each and everything you can remove the monitoring of your oracle database maybe you have enabled the monitoring of the oracle database by using oem or maybe you have some scripts are available on your server so what you can do you can just start decommission of your oracle database monitoring which is available with the help of oem then this is the final step where you can connect to the oracle database and you can drop the database if you want to drop a database you can use gui method which is called dbca or by using the command line method also you can drop the database when you drop the database it will drop your all the files sp file control files data files everything will be deleted but not a problem we have already taken the backup on the storage level also as well as on the database level also if you have any jobs which are scheduled like let's take an example that you may have scheduled some of the jobs through the cron tab related to the backup so you can remove that entry from your cron tab because obviously the backup should not be trigger anyway you have already deleted the oracle database remove the entry from your slash etc slash orata file because this slash etc slash orata file will have entry related to the oracle database you can also remove the bash profile from the bash profile you can remove the oracle home oracle sid that is not required there finally you can send the email message to the business owner or customer or the application support team saying that the database has been decommissioned successfully and now you can do the further steps from your side and lastly you may be having some inventory which have all the database related information so you can just update the inventory saying that this particular database has been decommissioned or some project they remove the database name from the inventory itself so these are the steps which you need to take care whenever you are thinking about decommission of the oracle database in the next video i'll show you how to do these things practically also but till that time you just need to subscribe and share this channel and if you are looking for real time oracle database training please reach out to us we are starting our new oracle dba training from tomorrow only this will be completely practical based real time job oriented training and 
those people who want to kickstart their journey into the Oracle DBA, they can join this. We have offline in Pune location as well as online classes are available. We have the classes available in both the language Hindi as well as English. If you don't want to spend the money on the training and you want to learn free of cost, not a problem. This is a YouTube channel where you can learn a lot of free content.